The brand new One 2.2 model is generating absolutely stunning AI videos with realistic human motion that wasn't possible before. But here's what everyone's asking. Does it actually beat Google VO3 and Kling AI? I've spent the past few days testing all three platforms side by side and the results might surprise you. One 2.2 brings something completely new to the table with its dynamic human movements, but it also has some serious limitations that other platforms don't have. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which AI video generator deserves the top spot in 2025, and more importantly, which one you should actually be using for your projects. I'm gonna walk you through a complete comparison of WAN 2.2 versus VO3 and Kling 2.1 testing everything from text to video generation to image to video capabilities. We'll look at realistic human motion, prompt following accuracy, video length and pricing to see which platform actually delivers the best results. For this comparison, I'll be using OpenArt, which gives you access to one 2.2 and other top AI video models all in one place. If you wanna follow along, I'll leave a link for OpenArt in the description below. Now what makes WAN 2.2 different from other AI video generators is its focus on realistic dynamic human motion. Previous models struggled with complex movements. You'd get weird anatomy, physics defying jumps, or characters that looked like they were floating. WAN 2.2 was specifically designed to solve this problem. It can generate much more complex and action-packed scenes with humans that actually move like real people. But being good at human motion doesn't automatically make it the best overall platform. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Let's start by really pushing these models to their limits with a challenging prompt about complex martial arts movements. First, I'll test Google VO3 with this prompt. A martial artist in a traditional waiki performs a series of fluid karate keda movements in a zen garden, transitioning from defensive blocks to powerful strikes, cherry blossoms falling in the background, golden hour lighting. Vio creates some impressive visuals with the zen garden setting and falling cherry blossoms. The martial artist does move through different poses, but the transitions between movements look choppy and unnatural. When he throws a punch, his shoulder doesn't rotate properly and the defensive blocks look more like random arm waving than actual martial arts technique. Also, for some reason, there are cherry blossom flowers flying out of his legs whenever he does a kick. Now let's see what Kling 2.1 does with the same prompt. Kling captures the Zen Garden atmosphere well, and you can see the character moving through different positions. But the martial arts movements are completely wrong. The punches have no power behind them, and the character looks like he doesn't really know what he is doing. WAN 2.2, however, produces movements that actually look like real martial arts. The sequence flows naturally from one technique to the next. You can see proper hip rotation in the strike and the overall body mechanics look like someone who actually knows martial arts. The movements have weight and intention behind them. The one thing you'll notice about WAN 2.2 is that it generates videos only up to five seconds, which means you won't be able to fit as much action into your prompts. Here's another example using a parkour scene. A parkour athlete runs across urban rooftops, vaults over air conditioning units, performs a precision jump between buildings, then rolls to absorb the landing impact. Gritty city environment, late afternoon shadows. Google VO3 creates movements that completely ignore physics. It honestly looks like a glitchy video game. Kling 2.1 has very slow movement. The vault over the air conditioning unit looks more like the person is just stepping over it, and the precision jump between buildings doesn't show the proper takeoff technique or landing mechanics. WAN 2.2 generates movements that capture the athleticism of real parkour. The run-up has proper acceleration, the vault shows explosive leg drive, and the precision jump looks like an actual jump. The only thing that's a bit off is that backflip he did, but still compared to the other ones, the movement is a lot better in my opinion. Now one feature that's becoming standard in AI video generators is automatic sound generation. Google VO3 is amazing at this. When you generate videos, it automatically adds background sound effects that match the action. You'll hear footsteps on concrete, water splashes, even ambient city sounds and dialogue. It's impressively realistic. Too late again. Kling 2.1 also features AI sound generation, but the quality isn't as good. Sometimes you'll get sounds that don't match the action, and some weird noises coming out instead of dialogue. Uh, WAN 2.2 does have a sound option, 
but from my testing, it mostly just adds background music to all the video clips. It doesn't create specific sound effects that match the action, which makes it less useful than what VO3 offers. Now let's compare how these models handle image to video generation, which gives you much more control over your final result. I'll start with this image of a street musician with a guitar and animate them performing. The street musician strums complex chord progressions, fingers moving precisely across the fretboard, head nodding to the rhythm, foot tapping to keep time. Google VO3 creates some musical motion, but the finger positioning on the guitar doesn't match what you'd see from someone actually playing. The strumming motion is too mechanical, and the head movements don't sync with any musical rhythm. Plus the woman right here kind of glitches out. One 2.2 generates a much more authentic result. The finger positioning looks like real chord shapes, the strumming pattern has musical rhythm, and the body language suggests someone who's genuinely engaged with playing music. The subtle details like proper thumb positioning and wrist angle show attention to realistic human movement. However, WAN 2.2 doesn't follow some of the environmental details as accurately. While the movements look great, some of the background elements look very weird. Like this guy in the back suddenly has a guitar for no reason. Kling 2.1 had my favorite result out of this generation. Besides this one guy being inside a wall, the result looked amazing. Now one of WAN 2.2's biggest advantages is cost effectiveness. It's significantly cheaper than competing platforms. Since it's open source, you can run it on your own hardware if you have the technical setup. But for most users, accessing it through platforms like OpenArt is more practical. Let me walk you through accessing WAN through OpenArt, which I've found to be the most user-friendly approach. First, go to OpenArt through the link in the description and create your account. Once you're logged in, click on Generate Video right here. In the video creation interface, if you click on this drop-down section right here, you'll see a bunch of different models. Simply select WAN 2.2 and you're ready to go. So if you're creating content focused on realistic human movement, sports training videos, dance content, martial arts demonstrations, or any action sequences, and budget is a concern, WAN 2.2 is your best choice. The movement quality is genuinely superior and it is very cheap compared to the other two. If you need longer videos, character dialogue, or you're working on content that requires consistency, Google VO3 remains the more complete solution despite the higher cost. If you're looking for something in the middle, I'd suggest going with Kling. It offers both great quality and it's not as expensive as VO. But for most serious content creators, I'd recommend having access to all three and more through OpenArt so you can select the right tool for each specific project's requirements. So now you know exactly how WAN 2.2 compares to the other top AI video generators and which situations each one excels in. With OpenArt, you can access WAN and all the other top AI video models in one place. So you're not limited to just one platform's strengths and weaknesses. If you want to start creating professional quality AI videos with the best models available, click the link in the description to try OpenArt. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.